Stress is a normal part of your everyday life, but a new survey shows stress is unfortunately on the rise. Yeah, April is Stress Awareness Month, and a new survey by Value Penguin asked people across the country about their weekly stress levels. Yeah, WAT6 Senior your site consumer reporter Don Dare has some of those results for us tonight. Don? And Bo, some of the findings are not surprising, and money worries top the list. The survey shows that Women experienced a more significant shift in stress levels than men. 92% of women feel stressed at least one day in a given week. In comparison, only 76% of men feel stressed at least one day a week. Hmm. We talked with an expert about the survey results. If you have felt stressed out recently, you're not alone. A new survey shows 84% of us feel stressed out weekly. That's up from 78% of March of 2021. And you know why. I think COVID really highlighted um, just how much finances play a part in like our everyday lives or just like people losing their jobs and needing to find resources or things like that. So money being a top concern, definitely. Money is the top stressor with many increasingly worried about their finances. 32% now say money is their biggest source of stress, up from 22% last year. Work takes the next spot at 11% and 9% one's mental health is another source of stress. And those with children at home, the responsibility of having kids, that makes it even more stressful. Yes, yes, and looking for child care or even like having a transition into at home um, virtual learning and parents having to take time off because they have to be home with the kids, um, things of that nature. So a lot of resources were robbed from our communities um, thanks to COVID. We've highlighted what people are stressed about. When are they stressed? 19% of respondents say Monday is the most stressful day of the week, according to the survey. It drops to 5% on Wednesdays and 2% on Saturdays. If your Monday is bad, very likely the rest of your week might be just as bad. So that's why I think Monday is such a stressful day for everyone. Because it's like, if I don't get my life together by Monday, the rest of my week is going to be affected by that. Gen Zers and Millennials both named their boss as the biggest source of stress, while Gen Xers and Baby Boomers say their spouse or partner causes them more stress than any other person. So what are some of the good ways to help reduce stress in your life? Taking some time away from your day-to-day -day work life to focus on your physical health and like going for a walk or things like that, or also like finding an activity that makes you feel good. Like, you know, if you um, like spending time with friends, do that. If you like to read, do that. But I think penciling time in for yourself is really important to help alleviate some stress. And Ms. Cummings also said it's best not to sweep feelings of stress aside or bury them. She says reach out to loved ones and family if you're having increased stress or depression. And of course, talk to your doctor openly about stress if it's becoming chronic. And Bo, it's finally Wednesday. It, <laughs> it is. We have made Up it. Day. All right, Don, thank you. <laughs> hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at ddarewat.com. You can also call a six on your site hotline number at 865-633-5974.